one um, obvious sort of form of revenue that we're expecting to be in the budget that you, both of you, have been um, sort of outspoken on is, of course, marijuana. And it sounds like uh, the governor will include some sort of marijuana proposal, uh, legalization proposal in her budget. Um, is there any wiggle room on this, or do you both say dead on arrival? Well, let me just say this. That's one of the frustrating things about the budget process, because the governor is constitutionally obligated to, uh, or obligated, I don't know if it's constitutional, to propose a budget. And it's got to be balanced constitutionally. But you can make whatever proposals you want and submit it. So you can propose any tax increase, whether it's ever going to happen or not, whether you know that it's not going to be accepted or not, whether the public wants it or not, balance it, send it over, and you've met your burden. And then it's up to the General Assembly to balance it. So that the Senate President and myself said, it's probably not going to happen this year. I don't think it should be in there. If it's in there, it's out of balance. So we'll have to deal with it like we do a lot of those other proposals. Uh, and we'll make sure it's balanced at the time of passage. But we've, indi we've indicated that it should be a policy discussion, probably should come in through some other means, a, a, a bill introduction. But if the Senate president saying no, and I'm saying that I, I think my colleagues in the House don't have the appetite for it, it should not be in there. The budget's out of balance if it's in there.